Good morning, students. Uh, today we will cover the chapter four from the first slide that is from the diary of Anne Frank. She born on June in June nineteen twenty nine and she died March nineteen forty five. And this chapter is based on the World War Second. And this is an autobiography of the young girl of the young girl named Anne Frank. In this diary. is gifted by her father on her 13th birthday and think is a jewish girl she is hiding herself during world war second in order to avoid nazis she stayed there for 2 years and she stayed there for 2 years and during that time she has undergone some depression and all the things she her experience she has shared in this diary and this diary she has given a name kitty so in this chapter we will learn about her experiences during those time and will come to know why does she requires to write a diary now students i'll explain you the second part of the chapter saturday 20th june 1942 dear skriti so On twentieth June, nineteen forty-two, Annie begins writing diary, addressing it as her friend Kitty. Dear Kitty, our entire class is quaking in its boot. So, what is she writing in her diary? That her entire class, entire class, was quaking in boots. Quaking in boots means they were shaking with fear or and nervousness. Why were they fear uh, shaking with fear and nervousness? Because The reason, of course, is the forthcoming meeting in which the teachers decide who will move up to the next form and who will be kept back. So, why were they get the entire students, entire class was nervous, nervousing because they were nervousing about the forthcoming meeting in which meeting it will be decided who will go for the next grade form means next grade and who will be kept back. Half of the class is making bets and half of the class they were betting with each other. G N and I laugh ourselves silly at two boys behind us. And G N, G N may be one of her friend. She and G N, they were laughing themselves and making fun of the two boys behind them. C N and Jackus, who have staked their entire holiday savings on their bet, and C N, C N, the initial name of some any student, and Jackus. who had staked their entire holiday savings on their bet from morning to night it's you are going to pass no i am not yes you are no i am not so how the children were keeping bet they all were saying you would pass not i am you would pass not i am yes you were even gs pleading glances and my angry outbursts can't calm them down so somebody named gs requesting with a quick look and looking at the children and any also shouting on the children but they were unable to control the unable to control the children and make them calm if you ask me there are so many dummies that about a quarter of the class should be kept back then she is saying to her friend if she would have asked her then there were so many dummies dummies means the number of students that about a quarter of the class should be kept back but teachers are the most unpredictable creature on earth on the other side she is saying that the about the teacher that they are unpredictable creatures sometime they change their behavior we can't believe what kind of result they give and how do they react i am not so worried about my girlfriends and myself now here any was is saying that she was not worried about her girlfriends and herself will make it that she was sure that she'll she would be pass the only subject i am not sure about is math and like the other children she was also not sure about her math subject anyway all we can do is wait so anyways they all could do only wait until then we keep telling each other not to lose heart and they until then they were consoling to each other that no need to lose the heart they were consoling to each other 
i get along pretty well with my teachers and she has a good re- she had a good relationship with the with her with her all teachers there are nine of them seven men and two women and the number of teachers were nine and seven men and two women mr keezing the old foggy who teaches maths was annoyed with me for ages and mr keezing the old foggy foggy means old fashioned teacher who taught who teaches who used to teach her maths was annoyed with her for many time but i talked so much because i talked so much because she was very talkative and due to this her maths teacher was very annoyed with her since long back after several warnings he assigned me extra homework so his her maths teacher gave her several warnings then she then he assigned her some extra homework as a punishment and what was that punishment an essay on the subject a chatterbox as any keep on ch- chatting every time so here she had to write a essay on chatterbox chatterbox means talkative a chatterbox what can you write about that and she what she was quite puzzled how could anyone write on the topic chatterbox i had worried about that later i decided i jotted down the lit- jotted down the title in my notebook tagged in it in my bag and tried to be quiet so she had worried about that later she decided she jotted down means note down quickly down the title in her notebook and tucked that note tucked it in my bag and tried to keep quiet and keep it inside her bag and she tried to be quiet that evening after i had finished the rest of my homework the note about the essay caught my eye so that evening after finished her rest of her homework she noticed the note about the essay on chatterbox i began thinking about the subject while chewing the tip of my fountain pen and she began thinking and while thinking she was chewing the tip of her fountain pen generally students they chewing their pen it signifies that she is in deep thinking anyone can ramble on sorry anyone anyone could ramble and leave big space between the words so what do you mean by ramble here talk or write aimlessly for long now she is saying anybody could write ramble on leave a big space between the words means anybody can write use like things and leave the lines between the words but the trick was to come up with a convincing argument to the prove the necessity of talking but if she would write in such a trick that it would come with such a arguments con- convincing argument that prove the necessity of just useless talking i thought and thought and suddenly i had an idea she continuously thought and finally or suddenly she had an idea i wrote the three page pages mr kissing had assigned me and was satisfied and she wrote down three pages that had been assigned by mr kissing and he was satisfied i argued that talking is a student's trait and what she argued in that essay that talking is a student's trait trait means quality and that i would do my best to keep it under control and that she was doing best under control but that i would never be able to cure myself of the habit since my mother talked as much as i did if not more but she was not uh, she was not able to cure herself because she is as talkative like her mother since her mother as was also very talkative as i did if not more than i that there isn't not much you can do about your inherited inherited traits then she is saying you cannot do much about the inherited traits that you take from your that you get from your parents Mr. Kissing had a good laugh at my arguments. 
So after reading her arguments on the topic chatterbox, Mr. Kissing had a good laugh. But when I proceeded to talk my way through the next lesson, but when she didn't stop herself while talking in the second lesson, next lesson, he assigned me a second essay, and he became annoyed. Mr. Kissing, his her math teacher became annoyed, and he assigned her a second essay. This time it was supposed to be. on an incorrigible chatterbox and this time she was she had to write the essay on an incorrigible incorrigible means unable to change difficult to change chatterbox i handed it in and she handed it mr kissing had nothing to complain about for two whole lesson and mr kissing didn't complain about for two whole lessons However, during the third lesson, he had finally had enough. Annie Frank has, as punished for talking in the class, write an essay untitled "Quack Quack Quack," said Mr. Chatterbox. Since to school, Mr. Kissing was not complain anything to any, but during the third lesson, he became too honored. He lost his patience, and he gave. any frank a punishment write an essay on quack 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 sad mr chatterbox so now she had to write one more essay on the topic quack 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 mr sorry quack 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 sad mistress chatterbox the class wrote i had to laugh too when she had got scolded by her math teacher this class third time the class teacher the class started laughing she also pretend to laugh though she had i had nearly exhausted my ingenuity on the topic of chatterbox ingenuity means originality or we can say skills and she had never nearly exhausted with her originality or the skills on the topic of chatterbox she ran out of the thoughts on the topic chatterbox it was a time to come up with something else then she thought that now she had to come up with the new ideas something original my friend sani who was good at poetry offered me offered to help me write the essay from beginning to end in verse so she had a good friend uh, she sorry she had a friend sani she she was good in poetry and she offered her help and suggested her to this time sorry that time she uh she must write the essay in a poetry form i jump f- for joy and she was very excited and was very happy mr kissing was trying to play a joke on me and now she is saying that mr kissing was trying to play a joke him by making on on her with this ridiculous subject now she is saying mr kissing was trying to play a joke joke on her making fun of her by giving her ridiculous ridiculous means very funny topic like chatterbox subject but i had make sure the joke was on him as math teacher was when was very annoyed with her and always he was giving her punishment and he wanted to make her ashamed but she also decided that sure the joke was on him on her math teacher and she was perfectly ready to reply her him i finished my poem and it was beautiful she finished her poem and it was very beautiful she wrote the poem in a beautiful story it was about a mother duck and a father swan with three baby ducklings and this poem in a form of a story it was about a mother duck a father swan with three baby duckling who were bitten to death by the father because they quacked too much the father swan killed the duckling by biting because the duckling were quacking too much because they had the inherited quality of mother duck so father was irritated by this quacking sound and father killed the duckling 
luckily mr k singh took the joke the right way and this way any wanted to convey the message to his math teacher and she also inherited the inherited traits from her mother of talkative this mr kissing took her the joke right way and mr kissing took the joke in a right way he didn't annoyed after reading the poem he did read the poem to the class he read the poem in the class to the class adding his own comments and he gave the remarkable comments on it and to several other classes as well and instead of reading in the same class he he read that poem in other classes as well since i have been allowed to talk and haven't been assigned any extra homework and since then she had been allowed to talk during the class and she didn't get any extra homework as punishment on the contrary mr kissing always making jokes these days on the other hand on the other hand instead of being annoyed mr kissing always making jokes jokes those days so student this was the explanation of the chapter from the diary of a young girl